Moving on to election-bound Jammu and Kashmir, where Congress and the BJP have uh, released a new list for their candidates. Congress has released its second list of candidates from Jammu and Kashmir, while the BJP has released its fourth list of the candidates from Jammu and Kashmir. Six seats have been announced in BJP's fourth list. Uh, there was a lot of, uh, you know, human cry and also questions being raised on why the Jammu and Kashmir BJP chief Rabindra Rena did not feature in the first three lists of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Now, his name is in this list. He is going to contest from Noshera. Meanwhile, the Congress chief of uh, Jammu and Kashmir, Tariq uh, Kara, is going to contest from the uh, Shaltang uh, uh, constituency. Jammu and Kashmir, remember, is polling in three phases on 18th, 25th, September and 1st of October, while the results of uh, these assembly elections which are taking place after 2014, a 10-year hiatus before uh, the elections now uh, in Jammu and Kashmir is going to be announced on October 8th. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, there has been a lot of uh, problems there for the Bharatiya Janata Party which released a first list of 44 names and then later had to withdraw that list because uh, there was a lot of uh, confusion, uh, protest against the party uh, leadership. Now, they have released so far uh, in phases about three lists. Uh, so the fourth one was also released in which Rabindar Rana's name also features. Now, important thing to note here is that the BJP for the first phase, which, uh, which uh, largely seats are in Kashmir, has not fielded many candidates, while the Congress and the NCP have, in fact, uh, cobbled up an alliance and will be, in fact, taking on the might of the BJP and, of course, the PDP in the upcoming elections. Going across to my colleague, Nazir Masoodi, who is joining us with more details. Nazir, uh, BJP chief of the state, Rabindar Rana, finally his name featuring in one of the lists. Congress also, in fact, indicating from where their uh, state president is going to fight the elections. But uh, at this moment, what are the important features of these lists as we have been, you know, we are nearing the first phase of elections? Well, it is clearly that, uh, you know, BJP has been facing a lot of trouble when it comes to the mandates and the distribution of tickets. Uh, so some senior leaders have been really annoyed. There were protests and all that. And there was not even clarity till this morning if the BJ, uh, BJP president, Ravinder Rana, is himself getting the mandate. But finally, his name has been cleared for the Navshira constituency, so he will be contested from the uh, But there's no words from the two former deputy chief minister and top leaders of the BJP from Jammu and Kashmir, which is uh, Dr. Nirmal Singh and Kavinder Gupta, both former deputy chief ministers, and they don't figure any in any of the list. BJP would be releasing another list, I think, in a day or so. Uh, then there's a Congress. It has also its own, you know, set of challenge when it comes to ticket distribution. And, but its president, Tariq Hamid Kara, has uh, got his name cleared today among the six candidates whose names have been released for contesting second phase of elections. And he will be contesting from the central Charlton mm -hmm. in Srinagar. So clearly to uh, the PCC chief and also the BJP chief of Jammu and Kashmir, will be fighting this election and they have they are being fielded from the Naushera and Srinagar Shalting.